In this video, we'll balance nickel plus sulfuric acid yields hydrogen gas plus nickel sulfate. This is a single replacement reaction where the nickel replaces the hydrogen. The hydrogen's left by itself. So let's count the atoms up on each side. I have nickel, hydrogen, and then I'm going to do a little trick here that'll make this quite a bit easier. I have SO4 here. This is called the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. So I have SO4 here, and then I have SO4 over here. I have three of them. So rather than count separate sulfurs and oxygens, I'm just going to call this one thing SO4, the sulfate ion. So let's count the atoms up. I have nickel, two hydrogens, and then one SO4. Over on the product side, I have the two nickel, two hydrogen, and then three of these SO4s. So that makes it very easy to count things up. Let's take, and we'll leave our nickels to last because this is by itself. That's going to be easy to fix. Let's fix the sulfates. So we have three here and one here. We're going to put a three in front of the H2SO4. So we have two times three. That gives us six. And then we have one sulfate times three. That'll give us three sulfates. So the sulfates are balanced. Let's balance the hydrogens. We have six here and two here. So two times three, two times three, that'll give us six. So those are balanced. And then for the nickel, I have two here and one here. I'll just put a two in front, one times two. That equals two. And now this equation is balanced. So this trick of counting polyatomic ions as one item, as long as you have them on both sides, really makes balancing a lot easier. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.